Lavender seems to be a project where we are taking spaces that would normally be vandalised and otherwise defaced and putting art on them. Well, the project came out of a Department of Justice grant looking at ways to address graffiti problems in hotspots. We got assistance preparing this um, toilet block, uh, which was one that was looking old and really unsightly. We want to turn it from being an eyesore to being a highlight within this park. We met a few times and we sort of brainstormed ideas, made some sketches of what we thought we were going to put on the walls and thought about how they could all blend together and make one complete artwork. I think it's you know, important to you know, help build up people's skills. You, know, you can take pieces of real estate which are otherwise pretty drab, pretty horrible, um, and provide something that's got a bit of colour. It also provides a safe environment in which you know, kids can practice. So if they do have an interest in street art, they can at least explore that, see if they are interested in it. Um, you know, in a safe environment. We also conducted uh, workshops with the schools in years five, six, seven and eight. What we were doing was teaching the kids the difference between street art and illegal graffiti vandalism. And just sitting in the background, it was wonderful to see how the kids reacted to the way that the program was presented. I guess the end result is if we turn one of the kids away from graffiti vandalism, then the program's been beneficial and worthwhile. My artwork, it's basically just like a circle with a face inside it. I like to draw and paint faces, so I thought that would be fun. And I thought I'd have some like unrealistic hair and skin colours just to uh, mix it up and have a bit of fun. I'm painting a mural of a girl who has a lot of colours and a lot of face paint and there's like bubbles around her. My artwork is an octopus. It was pretty weird. Originally I had the idea of doing a portrait, but I kind of changed my mind just suddenly because I did a bit of a sketch and I liked it so I tried to chuck some geometrics in there and it worked out pretty good. Today I'm doing um, a whole bunch of blending and gradients and I'll be doing the night sky and currently I'm working on doing a day sky. Creative art like this and not graffiti is like more appropriate and more you know, creative and fun and rather than just right, like going against the law and gra doing graffiti you know you can do something really cool and creative. I think it um, kind of livens up a place it's interesting to look at and um, especially for a building like the toilet block that we're painting on. It's important for the people like us just because it helps the youth see that the council and youth workers in the community actually want young people to be putting their artwork out there, that they want young people's input into the community and yeah, I think it brings a good vibe to the community. We've had significant feedback in the before, during and especially after phase of the project and in fact we had uh, police turn up whilst the project was was in action and uh, they enjoyed what we were doing and also we found that there was a school holiday program operating out of Springfield Hall right next to where the toilet block was having a mural installed and we had about 50 school aged children come around and and they saw them for themselves firsthand the difference between street art and legal art and illegal graffiti. By engaging them with uh, professional artists, they're learning a lot technically and they're also learning skills about uh, having to design and work together to create something that's cohesive and they're doing a fantastic job. We all have an opinion and a voice and things like this help us get it out there.